Today, Muskogee police investigated two back-to-back -back shootings. Both of the accused shooters are in custody tonight. Box 23's Justin Ayer reporting live for us from Muskogee after looking into what happened and how the victims are doing. Justin. They happened within two hours of each other. Police say one of the victims is in the hospital and the other did not even get hit. And they say they're thankful the suspects did not make it too difficult for police to catch them. Scene one, 730 Tuesday morning, Columbus Street. Corey Roan is accused of shooting at a car parked in the street. When police got there, they say Roan dropped his gun and took off running. But officers caught him and arrested the convicted felon on the spot. The vehicle at the victim's residence had several um, gunshots in it where it had been shot several times. They recovered several shell casings at the scene. Scene two, 915 Tuesday morning, Fredonia Street. Cindy Bolton watched this one from her front porch. I saw cops all up and down. There was probably 25 or 30 of them. Police say a man was in the middle of the road with a gunshot wound to the leg. Brandon Thompson is the accused shooter. Officers found him walking down the road minutes later. They believe it was all because of an ongoing dispute, but Bolton feels she knows the real reason. This guy down here was walking down the street the other day and he had blood all over him. And this guy here said, hey man, what's going on? Did you get into a fight? He said, yeah, I just beat my wife up. And that's how it all stemmed from that. Now, police don't feel the two are connected. They're just thankful they were able to get the two of them into custody quickly. Live covering news that matters, I'm Justin Ayer, Fox 23 News.